This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. I bought three broken Xbox One S's to see if I can fix them. Let me show you what I got. To be fair, I'm not totally sure if there are three of them here. One, two, three. I see three top cases, but one, two, three, four bottom cases, I think. So I'm not actually sure what I have here. I bought these from a guy who said he got them from someone else and all the pieces are here, but they're probably all mixed up. The first problem we have to tackle is each of these disc drives is married to each of these motherboards and they're not interchangeable. So I have to figure out which optical disc drive goes with which motherboard and then I have to try and turn them on and see if there's anything else broken. So let's start mixing and matching. And of course, along with all these parts, I have two bags of screws. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like enough screws for three of these, but we'll find out. So the sort of good news is we do have one Xbox Series S that is the all digital edition. So this one doesn't have an optical drive anyways. So we really just have two optical drives that we have to match up with the motherboard. So I'm just gonna start them up with the disc drives matched up with the motherboards they're in right now, and let's just see if it works. Now I do wanna put the screws in for the heat sink clamp. That makes sure that the heat sink is clamped down onto the APU. So hopefully that will prevent any overheating. Okay, now we can test it. Okay, the fan does not spin. Now we got fan spin. The light's staying on, good news so far. Oh, we've definitely got a bad hard drive in this one. So Xbox One S number one has a bad hard drive. Let's move on to number two. And number two, fan spins up. Hard drive sounds good. Got a black screen. Okay, E106. E106 could be a hard drive issue. It may just need to be updated. So we'll try that in a minute. Let's move on to Xbox One S number three. Oh, we get no power at all on number three. So number three just has no power at all. So we'll take a look at that power issue in a minute. Let's go back to Xbox number one and get that bad hard drive fixed. So first, just gonna remove this old hard drive. And here we go. Sounds good so far. Let's see what we have on the screen. So let's figure out why it's not showing a screen. Looking at the HDMI port pins, there are absolutely no problems here. They all look great. I've checked the filters and these all tested good. There just needs to be continuity between this pin and this pin on each one. And then these middle pins are ground. So these all tested good. For this little HDMI booster, I just checked around to see if there are any strange shorts. As far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this. We might have to come back and replace this later. But what I suspect might be the issue is this retimer chip. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace this with one that I think is good. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's good. So I'm gonna replace it and we'll see if that solves our no display issue. Taking a look at these solder joints, after this has been replaced. Each joint looks good. It's all connected properly. So now we can test it and see if this will bring back our signal. And back together enough to test. Come on. Let's see if we get a signal. Black screen. Come on, give me a signal. Yes, we got a signal. Now it is in another language, but that's fine. We can change that later. Replacing the retimer on this one got us a signal. So now we just need to worry about this E106. I'm first gonna try a USB update that should take care of this error, but it doesn't always. So hopefully it will, let's give it a try. I'm now installing the OSU one onto the hard drive via a USB update. So we'll see if that'll be enough to get it working. And now we got error E100. We're just cycling through all the errors here. I think E100 is because the wrong disk drive is in it. So I'm gonna swap this disk drive back to that one and put the disk drive that came in this one back in this Xbox One S and hopefully that'll fix it. Are you confused yet? I know I certainly am. And now we have what I think is the matching drive for this motherboard. Let's see what happens. Now it's gotta go through this whole update process again so it can recheck for the hardware and then we'll know if that fixed it or not. And it looks like we finally got this Xbox One working. So now we know this optical disc drive goes in this one and that one goes in that one. So I wanna finish getting this all set up off camera. Let's move on to Xbox number two. But before we move on to the next Xbox One S, we need to apply the perfect amount of thermal paste.
There we go. We also need to talk about the sponsor of this video, JLC PCB. JLC PCB is one of the best places to get high quality custom manufactured PCBs for a great price and they also ship out very fast to the United States. Not only does JLC PCB offer aluminum printed circuit boards, they are now offering purple printed circuit boards. They offer several other colors that you can see right on their website at jlcpcb.com, but their newest color is a nice bright purple. And the best part, this color is the same price as all of their other PCBs. They're offering a great deal right now for these purple printed circuit boards at only $2 for five boards. They're low cost, they're high quality, manufacturing doesn't take very long, and shipping is also very fast. I'll put a link down in the description that'll take you right to JLC PCB's website, where you can order everything right on their website fast and easy. If you want your custom PCB to really stand out, check out JLC PCB's new purple printed circuit boards. And Xbox One number two has another E106 error. This is the digital edition, so it doesn't have the optical disk drive. So let's get this plug back in and verify the E106 and then see if we can fix it. Good, preparing console at 4%. Ah, uh, still E106. Now E106 is usually a cache error, so usually just resetting it will fix that problem, but unfortunately on this one, it's not fixing it. I'm gonna go ahead and try and install OSU1 and see if that does anything. So far so good, we're at 64%. Sometimes they'll stop updating right at this break before the third update right here. But so far this one's going good. So I think maybe it'll work. And it looks like this one is fixed. I do have to get it set up just to make sure there's no issues there. But it looks like Xbox number two is fixed. Let's move on to Xbox One S number three that has the no power issue. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this power supply and put in this power supply from Xbox number two. That will verify whether the power supply is the problem or not. Let's take a quick look in here. Oh, I see what looks like a little bit of liquid right here. That's not good news. And we got a capacitor that has been torn off right there. I'm still gonna put this power supply in, but I think we got some pretty serious damage going on here. It's not gonna hurt anything to try and power it up, so. So let's just see if this happens to power up. No power at all. So I gotta get this torn all the way down so we can have a better look at this damaged motherboard. So let's take a little tour of the liquid damage. We got liquid damage right here, liquid damage right under these chips right over here. And this actually goes all the way up to the APU. Then we also have liquid damage all up the power rail, all the way up here all the way up to this chip right here and then even further all the way up here and all the way down here to the apu this also means that the liquid went from here and it looks like it just soaked the underneath of the apu and then probably drained out this way and then we also have liquid damage right here and you can see it trails off all the way down here and this gives you a little better look at this liquid damage that goes right under the apu so it comes out from over here as well. And it also goes up to this RAM chip up here. So there is very significant liquid damage on this board. So in all we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 chips that are affected by this liquid damage. Unfortunately, the success rate for a repair like this is gonna be very, very, very low. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call number three not fixable, but we were able to fix two out of three of the Xbox One S's, and I think that's pretty good. Thank you again to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. I'll put a link right down in the description if you wanna go check them out. Thank you so much for watching me try and save some more game consoles, and I hope you have a good one.